What's your favorite uh, cop or TV show? A movie uh, or TV show? My favorite, uh, The Wire. I really liked a lot. I'm giving. I'm thinking I'm gonna rewatch it because I haven't watched it in so That's, long. That's uh, Baltimore, correct? Yeah, because I actually I've spent a week with the team that that show's based on, the Electronic Surveillance Unit for Baltimore PD. So I spent time with that actual unit, and they're fun. By the way, if you've ever watched The Wire, they're based right. of operations in an old like shipyard building. That's really the case. They're in this cool, and it's got like a giant like old school elevator that you ride up in, like a crate elevator. A freight elevator that you go up to the second floor on, like it's it's the cool it's cool, oh. it's yeah they they're legit they're the great the godfathers of um, tracking cell phones and doing wiretaps. So was that like, like where you went to learn how to do it all? Yeah, when we first started up our cell phone tracking unit, uh, we had to go out there with them because they were the best at it. They kind of invented it, so we uh, went out there and rode with them for a week. And when we called them, the guy they're so fucking cool, dude. We called them and we we're like, "Hey, um, you know, what do we need to bring with us? Whatever." And they're like, "You got a bulletproof vest? Like, yeah. <laughs> you got a gun? Yeah. Well, bring that and get an extra gun, and then we'll see you on Monday." And like, okay. <laughs> and they weren't fucking lying, dude. You it was middle of summer. Baltimore's crazy. They would go out there and we track down these phones and these fugitives and their and their fugitives all wanted for murders. You know, there's hardly anything but that. So you're hitting these houses and these apartments and going in and like the all the whole block surrounds you and they're filming with their phones and you think, oh, we're we're about to be murdered by this mob while we're trying to do this. I like, they, they, they deal with this shit every day. Like they they probably did four or five bad guys a day every day and it's the same thing over and over and then the worst parts like i had seen some shit up to that point in my career i'd been on a long time this was different dude it was like like what like oh i live in a house where there's strange noises at night too no this is the fucking exorcist like it's the <laughs> i it's the haunting it's the real you know house the samityville horror for real like it was that different and those guys, they don't they don't make shit. They don't get paid shit. And they're in literally working a war zone every day. So, so you brought up you brought up the exorcist. How much fun did you have doing on those paranormal investigations there with those guys? Oh blast. Man. I would do those all the time. I would be a full time paranormal investigator if I could. <laughs> it's, like, it's awesome, dude. And, and you know, Nick Morado's into it too. He and I were the ones that kind of cooked up the idea because we're both really into it. And it was like, I thought I would be a little scared and kind of like the Baltimore thing. Like I thought my legs would get a little shaky there at first. It was just all adrenaline, bro. Like it's, it's just nothing like it. Like when you're in there trying to do it and you're hearing weird things and um, you you think you're getting responses to questions you're asking ghosts um, and they're audible. Like you, you're like, oh, let's fucking go. Like you get all excited and you try to track it down and it's, it's cool, man. It's really cool. You guys should do it sometime. You should get together as a podcast and go do it. Uh, is he? Oh God. I'm so wow. sorry, Brian. Don't invite me to your career day. <laughs>